Today we are delving into a crucial aspect of construction, the development length also known as the anchorage length. If you are into civil engineering, architecture or just curious about how structures hold up, you are in the right place. Now let's jump right in. The development length is essentially the length of a reinforcement bar or rebar that needs to be embedded or extended into a concrete element. This is done to make sure there is a proper bonding and the transfer of stresses between the steel reinforcement and the surrounding concrete. It's a crucial factor in achieving the desired strength and load carrying capacity of a structure. Now, why is this so important? Well, the development length prevents the rebar from pulling out prematurely or failing in tension before the concrete reaches its full strength. If the development length falls short, it can lead to a reduction in the load carrying capacity and compromise the structural integrity of the concrete element. And nobody wants that. Let's break it down further. Imagine a steel bar embedded in a column to a length, let's call it L1. When a tensile force F is applied, the bar might pull out of the column. This indicates that L1 is insufficient to maintain the desired bond strength. Let's increase the length of the bar to L2 and assuming it still does not solve the issue, Let's further extend it to L3. This ensures a safe bond strength between the column and the steel bar, preventing the bar from pulling out. The minimum length required to prevent the bar from coming out of the column after the application of force F is what we refer to as development length. It's also denoted as LD. Now, why do we bother with providing development length? Well, it minimizes the risk of the rebar coming loose from the concrete column it ensures the safe transmission of forces or stresses from beams to columns. And most importantly, it guarantees a secure bond between the rebar surface and concrete, preventing those bars from slipping out. But what happens if we don't provide the development length? Concrete members become prone to failure. In situations without sufficient development length, concrete failure would occur before the failure of steel. For instance, in a beam column system without development length, when subjected to a load beyond the limit, the bond strength between the beam and column would be inadequate, leading to the detachment of the beam. Now in our next video, we are going to take a deep dive into the practical side of things. I will be discussing how to calculate the development length, so you won't want to miss that. If you want to master the structural design with practical real life project exposure, then you can check out the structural mastery course available on Civil Tutor app. The link of the course will be provided in the description box of this video. Thank you.